How many of you get grossed out when you see those little bugs flying around your fruit? Get a little annoying, right? Well, believe it or not, those fruit flies may be able to teach us a lot about ourselves, including our sex life. Take a look at this. All animals have two main goals, survival and reproduction. So it's no surprise mating rituals are pleasurable, even in fruit flies. But is it the courtship or the consummation that gives the pleasure? To find out, researchers created flies that would ejaculate in red light, then offered them a choice, a dark area or the red light area. The flies chose the red light, confirming sexual release is pleasurable and releases feel-good peptides in the flies' brains. Next, the researchers tested scents and found the flies continuously chose the experience that reminded them of the red light and created even more feel-good peptides. What happens when the male fruit fly can't get pleasure? Whether it's the rejection of a female fly or being denied access to the red light zone in the lab, he turns to alcohol. This could be a huge leap towards understanding how human brains work when it comes to both sex and addiction. Secret to unraveling the male sex drive be found in fruit flies. Urologist and the author of the penis book, Dr. Aaron Spitz, joins us to discuss. That, that yeah. animation was awesome. Epic. That's one of the, wow. the best things we ever shown Epic. on this show. I would, I would have liked to have been a fly on that wall. <laughs> yeah. But you know, fruit flies are interesting because they actually are kind of hypersexual in a way. They they mate and they reproduce like crazy, and it's because they can reproduce so quickly that they're great for scientific studies. The other thing that's odd is that their genes are very similar to ours. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, looking at Drew, it's no big mystery, but at any rate. Uh, <laughs> Thanks a lot, no, buddy. But at any rate, uh, these flies, um, they reproduce so quickly that you can introduce some variable into how they're built, like this uh, variable where you can make them ejaculate from infrared light. And you can study that, and the reason that this actually matters, it's not just a bunch of crazy, horny scientists over there, you know, making uh, fruit flies ejaculate, is this is an important uh, finding for understanding uh, what drives people and even what drives addictions. Our drive for sex is coming from a different part of our brain than the part that drives us to get food or water. It's coming from the part of our brain that drives us to get drugs and alcohol. Mm -hmm. The drive pleasure for sex, yeah. the dopamine center, the pleasure center, and our desire for sex and our behavior with sex can become addictive, mm -hmm. just as our desire and behavior with chemicals, with drugs, with alcohol can become addictive. And it may be that if they can unravel what it is about sex and what it is about alcohol in these flies, that maybe we could be on the pathway to truly discovering some sort of sexual healing, if you will being able to substitute a, a good experience, maybe a healthy sexual experience, for an unhealthy addictive experience. Right now, that's not the case. Right now, as good as sex is, as many of us may know with addicts in our lives, the addiction still trumps healthy relationships. But maybe if they unravel, what is the chemical link here? What is the driver for desiring sex instead of alcohol, as we're seeing in these fruit flies? Maybe we can apply some of those lessons to humans eventually. Does this mean we should eat more fruit? <laughs> I'm trying to think where we go from here. Um, and, and I think what I will do is just throw out a fun fact that I learned last night uh, that has nothing to do with fruit flies. Uh, but the fact that men <laughs> produce 14 <laughs> gallons of ejaculate in a lifetime, I read that last night. It's a fun fact. We have the urologist here. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to. 14 gonna, gallons? I will neither verify or deny that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I. That's, that's just an average.